Hi, my name's Alex. I'm one of the product training managers for Sony Ericsson. And today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Sony Ericsson iNo handset with your PlayStation 3 through Remote Play. Remote Play is a feature that allows you to connect your handset to the PlayStation 3, either at home or over a Wi-Fi network. Once connected, you can browse the PlayStation menu system on the handset and it'll allow you to look at all of the media, so all of the photographs, videos and music that you have on the PlayStation. You can also connect to the PlayStation Store and on there you can browse and download content and watch it using the handset. Once you connect Play TV up to the PlayStation 3, you can also use iNo to watch, record and even search for live TV programs. So before we get started, you have to make sure of a couple of things. First of all, you have to make sure that the PlayStation 3 has its own access point or is connected to a home Wi-Fi network. That home Wi-Fi network needs to be running off a constant broadband connection and you also have to make sure you have your own login details to ensure that Remote Play will work. You also have to make sure that on the PlayStation that your user account is set to automatically log in. You also have to make sure by going down to the Remote Play settings that Remote Start is set to on so that the iNo handset can start the PlayStation remotely whenever used via Wi-Fi. And finally, you have to make sure that the PlayStation 3 is fully up to date. Now to do that, you go into Settings and System Update. For any more instruction or any more detail, refer to the PlayStation 3 manual or PlayStation 3 website. Once you've done all the checks, to get started and connect up to the Remote Play, you have to go across to Settings and all the way down to Remote Play Settings. Inside there, the very top option is Register Device. When you go into register device you have two options, one is the PSP and the next is the mobile phone. Once you've chosen mobile phone you'll see that there's a code at the top left hand corner and you have to input this into the iNo handset. When ready then use the iNo handset to go into the main menu, across and up to entertainment. Inside entertainment you'll see remote play. You then go to options and device registration. It'll then ask you for the code that the PlayStation 3 is displaying. Enter the code. And press OK. It'll then turn on Wi-Fi and search for the PlayStation 3. When registration is complete, it'll then ask if you want to start remote play. To configure the PlayStation, press OK and then on the PlayStation 3, then press OK. Now that you've registered the iNo handset to the PlayStation 3, you're ready to use Remote Play. To do so, go into the menu and then across and up to Entertainment. Then down to Remote Play and then you press Start. You're left with two options. The option you want to go for is via Wi-Fi. It'll then connect to a local Wi-Fi spot and search for your PlayStation 3. When it's connected, you'll see the menu options and then you'll notice that the screen is exactly the same as it would be when you're looking at your PlayStation 3 on your TV. You navigate in exactly the same way by pressing left and right and then up and down. And you can operate the PlayStation 3 in exactly the same way as you would with the remote. You can go into your photographs and view them full screen. You can also go across and listen to any of the music that you already have on the PlayStation 3. You can also download movie trailers or any video clips that you already have on the PlayStation 3 can be viewed using iNo as well. For energy research. Particle. <laughs> what we call it isn't important. It's what gives all matter mass, the thing without which we could not exist. You're talking about the moment of creation. Yes. 
Not only that, you can use the menu in exactly the same way in the sense that you can use BBC iPlayer and view programmes that have already been shown on the BBC or listen to the radio. If you have Play TV connected to the PlayStation 3, it'll also run that and also let you watch live TV, record live TV. You can also access the PlayStation Store. And from there you can download new movie clips or even download a game demo ready for when you get home to play it on the PlayStation. It operates in exactly the same way as you would if you were sitting at home. Not only that, you can also go in, view what friends are already online, send them a message or even respond to any mails that they've sent you. And then once you're finished using the application, you can go across and all the way to the top to turn off the system. This will close the application and also shut down the PlayStation 3 at home. The Wi-Fi will then be turned off and it will take you back to the remote play menu system here. From there you go back all the way out to the home screen. If you're having trouble connecting up the iNo handset to the PlayStation 3 for remote play, there are a few things to check out first. The first thing is make sure that the PlayStation 3 is fully up to date, running version 3.01 or later. The next section is to make sure that you actually have a PlayStation Network account. Also make sure that Auto Connect is enabled and up and running. And finally, make sure that you've actually tried to register the iNo handset with the PlayStation 3 first of all. If all of that is in place, it could be a problem with your router. Make sure that the router is set up for universal plug and play. That way the PlayStation can actually find the ports that it needs. If that's not an option on your router, you may need to find them manually. The first one to look for is UDP9293. The second one is TCP9293. If neither of those options work, the next thing to do is look at the user manual for your router or go to sonyericsson.com forward slash support for further assistance. Thanks for watching this step-by-step -step guide on how to set up iNo and your PlayStation 3 through remote play. For any further information on iNo or any of our other handsets or accessories or even any of our services, please visit sonyericsson.com.